There are days, and then there are days. Did you have cake? I did. How was the cake? It was great. I had my cake and I ate it too. We're here live to check out the king from Kings and Castles. Let's visit Kevin. Kevin Pond, how are you today, buddy? Great. They want to know where the king is in Kings and Castles. Wow. So I thought, you know, since you're making the king, we should show them. Yeah, so I drew the concept of the king. That's um, great. Here it is. Um, and you drew it on like a, a weird horizontal piece of paper that looks like it's cut off. Is that, <laughs> what, what, what's really happening, Kevin, in the dark and twisted world of, of art, artistry? I've just been working on the king um, based on, you know, the, this concept. And I've been <clears throat> just slowly building, you know, the, the different pieces. You know, this is almost like a, a gray, gray box model. Mm -hmm. But uh, with a little bit more detail than what we have done in the past. We wanted to put something in there that had a little more, uh, a little more a character and a little more detail because we, we, you know, we really need people to understand how important the king is. Also the proportion, you know, um, really try to um, make all the all the edges extra thick and juicy so that you know when you zoom out um, you know they read well <sighs> that was the king okay so hey Mike we're here um, to uh, introduce you to the world I don't think anyone's met you before nope. Mike Robbins AI guru responsible for some of the incredible AI work here at Gaspar games and uh, many of the people on the internet know you as Sorian that's correct right which is very very cool how you doing today? Doing good. How you doing? Good, good. So, what have you got? Anything awesome and cool to show us? I have something incredibly awesome to show you. No. I can actually teleport something from one place in the world to some place completely different. If I could go anywhere in the world, I would want to go to the Nut Machine. <laughs> I didn't get hardly any nuts. I got banana. I got like a almond. And I got some peanuts and a raisin. Are you ready for another exciting episode of Cracked Out Mailbag? Okay, we got a guy in Des Moines, Iowa. Hey there, why do corpses disappear into the ground? Um, it's not very realistic. And, uh, uh, is there an option to have the corpses left behind uh, so when you finish a battle uh, you know you've done a good job? Uh, the games that I've designed over the years, uh, we tend to leave the corpses on the field. Uh, we leave wreckage behind. But at some point you have to start to get rid of the wreckage. You have to start getting rid of the corpses because as these pile up, um, what happens is it slows down the performance of the game. And I, but we'll leave as many corpses around as we can, absolutely, because it looks way better. Uh, Tim asks, uh, will the melee soldiers be able to hunker behind their shields um, and still be movable uh, to block incoming damage and protect the units behind them? We actually are working with systems where the sh soldiers can take their shields and raise them and actually go into the turtle formation. So that's something that we're pretty excited about. Uh, Mark asks, are castles going to be upgradable, customizable, like a citadel and demigod? Our castles uh, start very, very uh, sort of humble and small because your kingdom is just starting out. And as you invest more and more uh, in your castles, either through gold and stone, uh, is the idea, the, the castle gets bigger and bigger and bigger in our, and the objective is to create these incredibly huge, fantastic castles that are bigger than anything anyone's ever seen in an RTS before. Another one here, uh, who, who shall remain anonymous uh, by request, has said, uh, will the different formations offer special advantages? This is exactly what we're talking about. We're talking about those formations and those shield configurations uh, creating a, um, a much more defensible position. This is key to melee combat, and if you have a whole line of those soldiers and they've all got their shields out, um, then really what you've created is a wall, and that's really important, and so we hope to get that in there. And that's another exciting episode. <laughs> Of cracked out mailbag. <laughs> it's my lunch. Let me try this again because that was really weird. 
have some cake. Could you tell us about the talent tree for the king? Hold on. So this talent tree shows some of the abilities that the king has. Um, all of the art right, in, uh, right now is placeholder, and it basically uh, gives us a visualization of what these things do. So as you gain levels, you will get uh, talent points that you can spend to buy any of these talents. And these talents will include things that will increase your health, maybe increase the rate at which you gain experience, um, things like that. Um, <laughs> yes. Thank you very much. Send us your video high five to cracked out at gaspower.com. Send us a video of you doing a high five. We want your high five. Really? Yeah. Just out of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> oh! It's my lunch. <laughs>